Thank you, Robert. As Equal Pay Day approaches, the Chamber of Commerce released a new analysis showing a widening earning gap between men and women in El Paso. The study looked at the median earnings between men and women, demonstrating that the gap between both stands at $10,000. KTSM 9 News reporter Oriana Botaro joins us in the newsroom and brings us this report. Oriana. Skyler, women in the workforce are not where they were at compared to 50 years ago. A new study says that women have seen improvements in workforce participation and increased their presence in the highest paying jobs. But despite these advancements, progress to close the gender pay gap has been slow. Maybe that women and girls are starting with a similar starting salary, um, but because they have more interruptions in their career, that stops them from having the same earning potential um, that men, men see in those opportunities. Professor Furman suggesting some policies could be imposed to shorten the pay gap, such as having equal parental leave for men and women. This would make sure they both have the opportunity to leave the workplace and could create better opportunities for women to earn a promotion and equalize the workplace. Although the wage gap widened, a local economics professor says there are a couple of factors that are not taken into account in this study. Well, let's see, it's not clear from this study where, whether El Paso discriminates more against women or not. Uh, so it's hard to say. But historically, whenever, let's see, these practices, discriminatory practices are outlawed and, let's see, the playing field is equal and, let's see, all workers and entrepreneurs are given better opportunities, it raises prosperity. Professor Fullerton says the study fails to take into account the educational differences between workers, such as women leaving the workforce to take care of their family, which could have impacted this gap, since some parents were forced to stay at home during the pandemic. And March also happens to be Women's History Month, a month to honor influential women who have made an impact on society. Professor Furman says that women should not be scared of asking for that pay raise, and that she encourages young women to value themselves and look at the gender breakdown in the field they are choosing. Reporting in the newsroom, Oriana Botaro, KTSM 9 News.